sit in a room full of people who are making a bunch of money. Everyone understands this. Your network is your net worth. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands this. And then they still hang around with fucking losers because they're dummies. You're right. I am the sum of the five people I spend the most time with. Anyway, this is my friend Nick. He's so funny when we go drinking because he gets really drunk. <laughs> losers. I don't talk to anybody who is not winning. Everybody whose phone, uh, every phone call I will answer, if I answer a phone call, it is from a winner. I don't talk to losers. Everyone I talk to is rich. Everyone I talk to is making money. Everybody. If my entire reality is full of multimillionaires making money, how am I not going to make money? And this is why network is so important is because it's the same reason that wolves hunt in packs. If you're a lone animal, you have one set of eyes. But if you're a pack, you're watching every single angle, every single side. Perhaps I might miss something. I'm as perspicacious as possible. But one of my friends identifies that the war in Ukraine is going to change and the Russian ruble is going to pump. You can make a bunch of money on a forex trade, for example. I may not have noticed, but he'll notice. Now I've made a bunch of million dollars to get a text message, right? Mm. Because I have friends who are paying attention. All of us are paying attention. So your network is super important. That's another thing. We'll go into this because I have something called The War Room, which is also on corporatetech.com. I let people read for themselves, but that's my private network. And we specifically talk about money. Okay. And so there it is. Your network is your net worth, but what's the problem there? Everybody knows that. What's the problem as Tristan has just said? The problem is that a lot of people are unwilling to get out of their comfort zone, to be uncomfortable getting outside of your current friends and family that you grew up with, that you associated with, that you may have to work with, for example, when I was in the Marine Corps, do you think I knew a lot of rich people? Zero. Everybody's making fifteen, eighteen, twenty thousand dollars a year. Everybody, everyone in the us was broke. We talked to the guys that are higher up, staff sergeants, gunnery sergeants, even the lieutenants. They were broke. They had a little bit more money though. They had a little bit better salary, but they were still broke. So just because people make a lot more money than you doesn't mean they're actually wealthy. Just because people that make a lot more money than you on the outside. Doesn't mean they're actually depositing, keeping more money in the bank account or putting money into their investments, which is creating more assets and less liabilities. Doesn't mean that they're financially going to be creating generational wealth just because they make more money.